Holiday misses again. Kept alive by Porzingis. And Brown dunks it. And that's turned over, and here's Derek White running as Porzingis. And it's 4-0 Boston. Fired and turned it over, and they're down early. Here's a three. No, it's Brown driving. He scores in. Rick can call the timeout. Oh, he changed his mind. I thought he was going to call the timeout. He got up. It's just they're getting the shots they want to get. Pacers fell behind last night, 6-0, as Jalen Smith for three. Shots. Offensive rebound, Turner. Go to work on him. Go to work on him. And Turner with a right hand, sweet move. Ball, he can, nobody can help him see it differently than he does, and he's reasonably sure they go with him. Derek White for three. That's their deal. Benedict Mathurin has come in for the first time. In the post to Smith. Nice. They, they do everything pretty well. You, you got to be on your game for 48 minutes. Brown inside, left hand. Strong take on Halliburton there. He's got, but they're gonna, they're trying to punish Halliburton. Halliburton is the, if, ladies and gentlemen, he's the head of the snake. They want to get him in foul trouble or make him defend. And that's why you've seen Brown with the ball as much as, as you had. There's the opportunity to, to keep people from taking advantage of him. Jackson picks up the loose ball and dunks it. Good quick hands. McConnell got it. On his, on his rump. <laughs> He's shooting that. You can't, that's, that's the best play. Honestly, it's the best play on the floor. I first quarter turnovers. Pacers' fewest points in a first quarter this year are 20. They're well below that as Tatum hits another three. Break could come in time for, for the staff to get a chance to take a look at how to do some things differently. And McConnell on the baseline. Yeah, to, to break it up a little bit, get some scoring. So Holiday back out there, starts the second quarter with Pritchard, Tatum, Hauser, and Cornette. Ooh, ooh, buddy. You can't let them do that to you. Boston's always going to do. They're either going to have Tatum or Brown on the floor. Here's McConnell with the basket. Drive it. Out by Cornette. That's all he was trying to do. And now Pritchard wide open for three. A very good three-point shooter. That's why they knock it out. Let's it. Did he get it? Good job by McConnell anticipating Cornette's pass to Pritchard. And here's Buddy for three. It's a 5-0 run. Yeah, get a little bit of something going for these fans because that's the other thing. Pace is just 2 of 12 from behind the arc. Toppin, he lets it fly for three. Get a little life in that offense. Eight straight in place. You got to save it to the other end. And Tatum hits. Another offensive rebound. Pacer second unit led by McConnell. He's got six. They've got 17 of Indiana's. He's among the top three front, uh, front court players in the Eastern Conference to in the initial voting to head back to the All-Star game. He scores again. He is moved quickly off the dribble. Horford shot big, loads a three. You gotta be kidding. That thing hit the rim, the top of the backboard on the front side. Really good, but even when he was at Oklahoma City, great effort there on the part of Neesmith. Neesmith. Oh, yes! Sit down! He sure did, because Derek White, he made the pass, tried to get 32 points. Tatum works one-on-one -on -one against his former teammate, Neesmith, and hits again. Tatum. It's 14 on 6 for 10. Halliburton for three. Yeah, you know what helped him was sitting down, because he was frustrated. Advanced to Las Vegas. Here's Tatum, step back three. 17 for Tatum. The activity of Neesmith. Smith. Matherin turns the corner, drives inside, and got it. Well, he has become very Brown. Oh. Brown and Tatum have combined for 34 of their 55, and there's another three by Jason Tatum. He has 20. Just not a lot of places to go. E. Smith high up off the glass. He made a tough shot too. Heel. 
Inside, got to the basket, put it in. Miles did a nice job screening out the defender. Foully. Um, but they're making up for it for the three-point shot. But you still got to just make him take challenge three-point shot. But he healed, starts with a three. Yeah, that took the time to steal that from Horford. Hauser gets inside, steps in, and scores. He did a huge bench, has played well against the Pacers in two games. Healed against Tatum, goes inside, left hand, got it. Good pass. Shot fake. Turner, Euro. Oh, Euro! Euro around Horford. Good rotation by Smith. Hauser lets it fly. That's his 11th in three games again. Smith got it back. He missed Horford with a lot of bounds when he hit that ball a second time. Show and go. It's good by Halliburton. Way to keep it live. Tatum had 20 first half points. Step back three. So he's a somewhat a custom move. High up off the glass for Holiday. Yeah, he got it. Halliburton yeah. gets inside and he'll dunk it. And a really smart play. Hauser can't guard him. I don't care what he came in. Pacers trail by seven. Take it. Toppin for three. Second of the night for Obi Toppin, and all of a sudden, defensive rebound. Holiday to Horford, who dunks it. Toward the basket, could see that the help was coming and delivered it to Horford. Now Horford has scored 10 off the bench. Halliburton answers with a three. On Halliburton, he couldn't, he couldn't get the ball. Brown got topping in the air and scores. There you go, push it up. Yes! You can read the lob from Buddy. To the top. Five second difference, game and shot clock. What good, nice delivery. Really good delivery there by McConnell. Got across half court to see Buddy was in position. Playoff atmosphere between the Pacers and the Celtics on this Saturday night. Nearly had the steal. Brown put it in. The fourth. White has been plagued by foul trouble, goes inside and scores. No turnovers, they have just five tonight. Ball tipped away. To some really good defense set by Madeline. He anticipated. 15th Boston turnover. Tatum for three. There's not much you can do. That is deep. It was. McConnell got it back somehow. Healed at the rim. Great hustle because that looked, that looked Turner, but Tatum is waiting. Yeah, they'll take that close. Yeah, they will. <laughs> You, 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 again, that, that's potentially four points. And now Tatum this time has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah. Great defensive stance there. Tatum step back for his 6-3. There's nothing you can do. No, you can't because he mishandled the ball before. The steal, healed, has it, leaves it ahead, and Neesmith dunks it. Yeah, it caught, he did a nice job because he... <laughs> Right back to tie. Beats Holiday inside off the glass. Into the corner. Horford saves it. Tatum has it. And Tatum adds two more. And that's the size of Horford. Pacers turned it over. Lob it up. Brown throws it down. Well, that's the size of Horford. But I've got to tell you, Horford's value is in his is in touch. Turnovers have not been an issue tonight. That's only seven for the Pacers. Brissett for three. When the Pacers got it down, they, they, they did a nice job. Look at the lazy contact. I think that's good. Oh, Matherin had the ball slip out of his hands. And he got it knocked out by Drew Holiday. And Brown pounds it down. So these Pacers fans will not go home happy tonight, but they'll have another shot at the Celtics on Monday, but not tonight against this Celtics team. An 8-3 for Tatum. And they'll also score a season-low 101 points. So their two lowest point totals this year are in a pair of losses to the Boston Celtics. Well, I think you've got to get credit for what they do defensively.